but uh, working on some roof repairs. And uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity to record it. I don't do this very often, but you know, every once in a while it does come up. Now this is a flat, it's pretty, pretty, pretty flat. It's a pitched, uh, pitched roof. Like an eight foot, ten foot overhang over a small commercial plaza of mine. That my aunt owns one of the units in. Anyway, uh, I'll let the work speak for itself. So this video was recorded a couple months ago, so I'm going to have to do a bit of a recollection here. Uh, what you're seeing right now is, in essence, uh, putting down, we're just uh, throwing, throwing down some chalk lines on the uh, waterproofing membrane. And so I could uh, put this polyurethane foam uh, down on the base layer and, and kind of just lay the, lay the tile on top of it. Uh, in essence, you know, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that uh, most of your waterproofing for your roof is not from the tile or from the shingles. It's actually from the waterproofing layer that I'm standing on. Uh, either some people have the 90 pound felt or the Tyvek, you know, uh, plastic sheeting. Uh, what we have is some sort of like EPDM elastomer composite kind of thing. Anyway, I didn't do the roof work. Um, why not hire someone else to do it? And I wanted to show real quick uh, just lay it down and put it in order. Um, not rocket science or anything. And there are a lot of plenty of other uh, roofers on YouTube I find who do a very, very good job. M much better job in, in documenting this part. So, uh, if you're watching this video, I, I guess, you know, you're thinking about venturing into roofing to repair leaks around your house. And I, I highly encourage you to do so because it's, it's again, it's not rocket science, you know, but uh, it is kind of dangerous. It could be dangerous and also it's, it's not a fun job. Thankfully, I had my dad helping me out. Anyway, um, I'm going to let her play out. I didn't do the entire, I didn't document the entire process, only did the first two rows. And we're going to let the, I'll let your imagination take the rest of the <laughs> fill in the blanks, if you will. Uh, now, what happened was this job took three days, um, maybe like two hours a day. So on this first day, we laid down the tile. The second day, we brought the mortar and patched all the holes. And the third day we came back and threw uh, some elastomeric uh, siliconized uh, roofing cover to make it more uniform and blend in with the rest of the roof. So, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, feel free to drop me a note in the comments or however you could reach me or just uh, do a little bit of research on the internet. And I think you're going you're gonna to be just fine. Thank you again for watching. Uh, that is all I have for today. It's a short video. And I hope this helps you. All right, good luck. All right, so everything's kind of laid down, uh, glued down with this thing called this foam, this tile foam. It's a, it's a structural foam designed for a, a roof tile. And you can see because you know the foundation is not that great so we have a bit of an undulation in the uh, layout but uh, what we're going to do now is we're going we're gonna to mix up some mortar and patch the bigger holes and try to create a, a straight edge at the border. So.